Could you grab me my loofah? What is that? I got it for Halston. He's supposed to come anytime I ring it. He's kind of a bad doggy. Not like you, Betty. You're a good girl. No, no, don't do that. Look, Amanda, I'm really glad that you're getting so comfortable living here these past couple of weeks. Really, I am. But I think it's time you and I have a talk about something that really has been bothering me. Is this about that $60 that you left out for anyone to take in your bottom drawer? It's time to let that go, Betty. Amanda, you have this tendency to treat me like I'm your assistant. What? Give me an example. Well, for instance, you rang a bell to summon me. You're constantly asking me to take your calls, write down your messages. Oh, that reminds me. What time's my massage tomorrow? Oh, 6.30. <laughs> Amanda! Oh. No, look. I'm an assistant all day long at work. I don't want to come home and be an assistant here, too. But you like your job. Yes, I do. It is a wonderful stepping stone. However, I don't think doing menial tasks for you is going to help me get ahead in my career. Hey, Betty. Is it possible you're taking your career frustration out on me? I don't think of you as an assistant. I really don't. I think of you as a roommate. And sometimes a maid. Would you grab me a coffee while you're up? That's not my job. Morning, Betty. Can I get a cup of coffee? Sure. That's my job. <laughs>